Coach, coming off of a close loss to NJIT, what do you work on before the next game? Obviously free throws. You know, you know we, we're two for 13 and uh, losing a one-point game here at home. And, you know, that's just unacceptable to shoot that bat from the free throw line. That's, that's, that's really about focus and concentration. And I think, uh, you know, with uh, the practices we've had, we've put some consequences to missing free throws. And I, I think that uh, we'll be a little more focused when we go to the line and, and hopefully a little more confident because we've gotten a bunch of free throws up in the last few days. Bianca Torrey, third straight game. She's just hitting everything from everywhere. Well, that's what she—that's what she's been capable of. And you know, she started out, I think, in a little bit of a uh, in, in a different role. I think she was trying to be more of a facilitator and not looking for her shots. And you know, that's just Bianca, you know, being too nice. And, and I told her she needed to become a little more selfish. And uh, she's averaging 17 and a half points a game now in conference, and that's what we need from her. You're about to knock out all of your conference road games in one felt swoop, five straight on the road. We're up for the challenge. It worked out for our men's team now. They're going to have five home games in a row. And, uh, but, you know, I think it's nice to finish up the last three games at home. Uh, hopefully we'll be playing for something in those last three games, and that could add some excitement here to, to the community and to the campus. What can you tell us about Houston Baptist? Uh, they're better than their record, uh, and, and we got to be ready to play. You know, and that's one of the things as coaches, no matter what a team's record is, we need to take the same approach and, and make sure our kids are ready to play against them.